Well, good morning. Let me take the opportunity to thank all those that are here this morning and certainly thank Chris Burtz for challenging me uh, this morning and what is going on all over America uh, with celebrity athletes and politicians joining in the so the nation of the bucket challenge uh, for this devastating disease, ALS, and uh, to make a contribution to my local charity, Jake Loud, if I've given him a check. Uh, but let me say to you first, Chris, uh, you dealing with a mayor of the city this, of this city that, that doesn't take a challenge lightly. And uh, I look forward to your other challenges too, uh, bad boy. Uh, <laughs> and then let me thank Annette Kirkin for um, being the one that's going to dump some hot water instead of cold water on me this morning. No, no, no. But let me just say that uh, as we uh, participate here, how important it is that we raise, raise the awareness, not only in the city of Vicksburg, but all around this nation for this disease and for the charity of your cause. So Chris, you challenged me, big boy. Now I'm going to challenge Chad Sheely, superintendent of Vicksburg Public School, Greg Paylor, uh, Warren County Circuit Clerk, Bill Lauderdale, President of the Board of Supervisors, Mac Bonner, Warren County Community Court Jury, Donna Hardy, Warren County Circuit Clerk, Antonio Flags Jones, Warren County Tax Collect, Jim Hood, Mississippi Attorney General, Briggs Hobson, Mississippi State Senator, Mike Cheney, Mississippi Insurance Commission, and the Honorable Phil Bryan, Governor of the State of Mississippi. Woo! <laughs> Y'all ready? The question is, are you ready? <laughs> you going first? <laughs> I love my job, by the way. <laughs> Where's your phone? Where's your phone at, Mayor? I'm sure you have had it. Well, not only this Vicksburg for the state and for this nation, I try to call out some people that I know that will come in and uh, be leaders by example and uh, make some contribution and raise this awareness. I think it's so important uh, that we as politicians, celebrities, uh, professional football players, and you name it, even the grocery board, other labor, join in and just, because this is a serious disease and uh, you don't want to take it lightly. In fact, I had a colleague in the Mississippi legislature uh, that died from this disease and it's, it's it went down, he went down so fast once they diagnosed him, he went down. Uh, so I will always remember that, but I want to give this contribution to someone local and a group that I visited more than one time and I enjoy uh, what they do. Well, we sure appreciate your time and thank you for being such a good sport. thank you for the challenge. Thank you, sir. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. I know that I did. I did feel honored to be able to oh. do that. Well, my name is Annette Kirkland. I'm the executive director of the Vicksburg Convention Center and I just got to dump an ice cold bucket of water over the mayor's head and I was quite honored to be able to do that. Chris Burks with K-Hits challenged the mayor and he challenged many others after him for a great cause on um, ALS and it's affecting many many across the nation so thank you Mayor Flags for being a good sport and thank you Vicksburg. Chris Burks from KS 104.5 and uh, you know you've been seeing on the internet this ice bucket challenge and all that and it's for a great cause. ALS is a great cause and I hope it raises a lot of money and awareness as it's doing. However, I also like to see things happen locally in Vicksburg so my donation of choice is going to go to Jacob's Ladder and the mayor graciously donated Jacob's Ladder. In fact, I'm going to show you this right here. I'm not going to show you the, the, the stuff but that is a check from the mayor for Jacob's Ladder so that's very nice. But he did make a good point that ALS is not a disease to be played with and that it's, uh, you know, we need to look into it, look how to help out and cure it. And I'm glad this Ice Bucket Challenge is going on. I'm glad to see people doing it for Fitchburg, and I'm happy to help give a little part to that. So thank you everybody for coming out here and see the mayor get doused with ice water. It was a great thing to do. I saw a little joy on Annette Kirkland's face, but she wouldn't admit it. But, you know, we'll just take it as she was, she had the honor. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. It is cold. Oh. <laughs>